All right, how's it going? Wyatt back here again at the Team O'Neill Rally School. Just wanted to do a real quick one today, the difference between wheel bolts and wheel studs and lug nuts. Uh, German cars, like if you were gonna go racing with this thing, as you probably should, um, you know, anything BMW and Volkswagen and all these German cars had wheel bolts. Really, a wheel bolt is gonna look like this. And the deal with a wheel bolt is um, the Germans did this for whatever reason. Maybe it's technically stronger. I'm not sure. Uh, but you've got a taper here that matches the wheel and this bolt goes in and holds the wheel on and everything's pretty wonderful except as soon as you turn something, now look what's happened. You've, you've lost your threaded space and obviously there's going to be nowhere for this to go. Um, there is a set screw here which is typically you know, meant to keep that from happening, but you can see when that lines up in this case, um, it, it, it's not perfect. And uh, maybe there's somewhere else that that lines up, but w what you find is, um, you know, after you've got an older car or a race car or something like that, th that little set screw's typically gone. And when you go to put the wheel on, something like that happens and now you've got the plane of the wheel to get the the lug bolt through and then you've got to try and get it through this and then you've got to try and turn the whole assembly slightly um, to get it back into there so it's it's a bit of a of a pain so in order to put this wheel back on i've got to make sure that uh the brake disc is aligned with the hub and everything grab my wheel and now i need to align that with those slots uh, without rotating the brake disc on the hub get the hub centric piece on get that together hold that with your foot get these started you know and you always want to either start these by hand or obviously you put them in the socket get that lined up okay got one in once you get one in you will get the rest just start each one for a second by hand and then you can hit them with the impact and again, always keeping yourself in a place where if this car shifts right now, you're going to be safe. And the one thing you'll see with these wheel bolts as well is this taper here uh, only works with these wheels and maybe some other Volkswagen wheels. Um, but you can see it's not a straight taper. It's got like a dome to it. So if I wanted to switch wheels, I need to switch wheel bolts. Um, and sometimes, you know, if you get an aftermarket rally wheel or a racing wheel or any kind of wheel, you want to put a Honda wheel on here or a BMW wheel or something like that, um, you're going to be a little bit out of luck unless you can find a wheel bolt or machine a wheel bolt or do something else because if this doesn't match up right, you'll have wheels coming loose. Um, they won't be stuck. It's not a good idea. You want that taper to match well um, with what you've got going on. All right, so back in the nice warm shop again. We're gonna take a look at this one. This is the basic system you're gonna find on pretty much any race car, rally car, or most street cars out there, um, which is a really simple, you know, obviously lug stud with lug nuts on it. Um, so I'll just zing these off and show you real quick. I'm sure everybody sees. So that's uh, what lug nuts are gonna look like. And these have some kind of a copper, um, copper slip lubricant on them, but yeah, the idea with the lug nuts, just like I'm sure everybody knows, is to hold the wheel on. But again, there's a specific taper to them. Um, but the nice thing about that taper is when you get wheels, you can get different lug nuts. And, you know, it's a lot easier to find different tapered lug nuts than different tapered wheel bolts with different threads and thread pitches and sizes and all of that stuff that happens. Um, so that's nice and easy. But really, the beautiful thing that we do love so much about uh, wheel studs and lug nuts is there's no way for this brake disc to shift for the wheel to turn once once you've put the wheel on here it, it can't move around and, and the whole thing is just a whole lot quicker and easier so I'll put the wheel back on just so you can see um, what that looks like obviously once you line up about where your wheel holds on, on your lug nuts. It's there, it's happy, it can't shift, it can't go anywhere. And then again, just get these, you know, enough on these studs that you know when you hit it with the impact, nothing's gonna strip. It's all gonna be happy. 
and hit. And the rest of the way around. So that's the basics. You'll see some people go crazy and will have like monster long studs coming out of here. They just order them in that long length and never cut them down. Uh, but you probably don't want the stud, uh, the yeah, the studs coming out so so long, just because they'll get damaged, they'll get bent, they'll get mangled, they'll get uh, screwed up. Also, you certainly wouldn't want um, your stud to be protruding through your lug nut to the point where you wouldn't be able to get you know, a socket on there or a normal four-way or, you know, hey, if all you could find was a short, you know, not a deep socket, but a short socket, it's always wonderful to still be able to change your, your wheel and tire. So that's just something to look out for, but hopefully that just uh, highlights the difference between wheel bolts and, you know, wheel studs and lug nuts. Quick, easy one. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.